Hey everyone, I'm doing this um, live. First of all, I want to thank everyone that I have in my YouTube. You know, I have a, I reached 11,000 subscribers, and I'm excited. I really am because I never thought my YouTube was gonna go this far. And hey, welcome. A lot of videos are coming up. I've been a little busy with other stuff, so I, I took a little longer, but I've been posting videos almost every day or almost every other day. And let me know what type of videos you want to see, like what, con what states, not countries, because I'm don't i not that rich to be flying around. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not. To be going all around the world. Hey, if I could fit record videos on Russia, I don't know, Germany, Sweden, anywhere. I mean, I would love to. I'm not scared of traveling. I can tell you that. I'm not, I'm not scared of driving either, as you probably noticed already. I could drive. I did, I mean, I drove many times from New York to like Miami. I drove to Chicago. I have driven even further away. I went to Wisconsin, you know, I drove, I just, I was just in California. I drove in one day, I went from, I think it was Fresno, all the way to San Francisco. I did, then I went back to Los, Las Vegas on the same day. If you look at the map, it may sound close, but it's not. From San Francisco to Las Vegas is literally like nine hours. And it's not even a direct highway. You have to take like three, four different highways. So just, you know, know that. It's not that easy. Whoever's watching, hi. Welcome to my page. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and let me know what type of videos you want to see, you know. Hey, I'm always willing to listen to. And if I could do it. I will do it. Like I said, I'm I'm not scared of driving. I'm not, I love casinos, which is not good because I'm spending a lot of money in casinos that I don't win. But you know, I want to win. Obviously, I see videos in YouTube that people win thousands. I won once six thousand dollars in a in a slot machine, and that was. Pfft, Surprised because I was only bidding one dollar and I won the grand prize. You know, hey, I was excited. Who wouldn't be right for a dollar bet? You win six thousand, I think it was six thousand four hundred dollars. Who is watching? Let me know where you're from and what videos you like to see, what videos you enjoy on mine. If you enjoy my videos, and let me know. Hey, thank you, Uncle Trevor. Yep, you're one of my followers, and I always enjoy your reading your comments. I know you like the car videos, and I love cars, classic cars. I know you love those Japanese little cars, right? <laughs> you're a fanatic of those American big boats. <laughs> Which I enjoy them too. Hey, there's nothing like driving an old classic American car. Not those little, I know you hate those little Kias and, and little Hondas. <laughs> but I enjoy everything. I'm a classic. I like new cars. I, I mean, cars are cars. I could, I enjoy all of them. Guys, if you see hairs flying around like this one that's getting on my nerves, don't mind. It's my Halloween decorations. As you could probably see, I'm going to take a little tour. This woman here, she has her hairdo. She went to a wedding and she didn't come back alive. Sorry about that. And you see another few people here that are not very happy to be hanging. But, you know. Hey. And, by the way, I have a picture of my family. They're a little busted, but, you know, they're happy to be in the window. <laughs> If my mother hears that, she'll kick my butt. And there's my grandparents. No, I'm just kidding. 
Oh, <laughs> and there's my high school reunion. <laughs> Hey, I'm crazy. I'm, I enjoy Halloween. Where are you from, by the way, Uncle Trevor? What state? Um, I don't know. You never gave me like a. I'm thinking about a big state like uh, California, New York. Texas. You sound like a country dude. Like you like the American car. So you're more like probably a southern state. Probably Texas, Tennessee. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Pennsylvania. Oh my god, I live actually in Pennsylvania now. I I I I just moved to Pennsylvania. Oh well, I used to live in New York. I'm a New Yorker. All my life I live in New York. But Pennsylvania is it's cheaper, so I gotta go with the flow, and I like it actually. It's more peaceful. What part of Pennsylvania? Yep, near Allentown. Well, I'm not too far from you. I'm a little north of Allentown. I'm like an hour away. I'm in, I'm in Wilkesbury. Well, I don't know. They call it Wilkes Bear, Wilkes Berry, Wilkes Barre. They have Mr. Caselli, the Deli Man. Welcome to my page. <laughs> your your comments about the Deli are funny. I gotta say, every every car, every car put in, you say, "Can I take it to the Deli?" Or can I buy a sandwich with this? <laughs> yep. Hey, I love funny comments. I'm not a sour dude. I love laughing about it. Some people take it personal. I take personal when they, when they get stupid, like when they be, when they're offensive. That's when I take it personal. But I'm not a. I don't. I could follow the laugh. I'm a. I'm. I'm I like to laugh. Pizza today. Uh oh. So you're gonna be the pizza man today. You can you love food, right, Dan? <laughs> Tomorrow's what? Tomorrow's what? A hamburger? Dominoes. Hey. Sunday. Football. I'm 38. Man, I'm getting old. 38. How about you? How old are you? Dan, where are you from, by the way? I'd like to know where my my YouTube friends are for, from. You're 23. Cool. Are you really into young, I mean, old cars? That's nice. A young dude that likes old cars. Jersey Shore. By what? Tom's River, Atlantic City. Where, where, where specifically, more or less? It's not like I'm going to go knock in your house tomorrow, so don't mind me. <laughs> Asbury Park, nice, 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 nice. It's a nice area. You know, I never, actually, did I? I actually did. I was there once, before the hurricane. Before, I know, was it before or after? I can't remember. Actually, it was after because, uh, yeah, it was after Sandy. After Sandy. Hell yeah, I love traveling. I love my, I mean, I'm not sure how, much, how many of my videos have you watched, but I put a lot of videos that I drive through the cities. I love it. I just came from California. I was saying at the beginning of my video, I drove all around California. And if you've ever been to California, it's huge. It's literally from Southern California to Northern, the tip of Northern California by Oregon, I think it's like 800 miles. I went to California. I went to Florida twice, but I don't have many videos of Florida. I have to start. Me, I have to take another trip there. When I went to Florida, I was not really into the into the um, the filming a lot. I started filming probably about two three years ago, but I have to go to Tampa, Orlando, Miami.
California is gorgeous. Let me tell you, gorgeous. The weather, I was in Nevada and California, they have gorgeous weather. But they, you know, they, they find it a problem sometimes because they get a lot of fires because they barely get rain. So since it doesn't rain, it's not humid, they get fires all the time. Like, you know, they have fires. They, actually, they were having a big fire in Northern California last month, was it? Like, I'm not sure if they're still out of it. If it's already, you know, if they stopped it already. <laughs> Which of all those Volvos, man? I, you know how many Volvos I have, by the way, Carl? How you doing? Welcome to my page. You know, I was not, I didn't go to Area 51 and I wanted so badly, but my time was limited. I had to film, I had to go everywhere. I want to go to Las Vegas. I want to spend more time in Las Vegas. And if, if I'm not mistaken, Area 51 is, is like Northern Nevada, right? It's not so close to Atlantic City. Oh really? Oh damn, I missed it then. I thought it was more like closer to like Reno, which I wanted to go to Reno. But you know, Reno to Las Vegas is another like six, seven hours or, or so. You know, remember those west the western states, they're huge. It's not like in the east. We got states that are like about a hundred miles long, like Delaware and Rhode Island. These states in the west, from state to state, you gotta drive like six hours each. Even more than some of them. Oh yeah, I know in what is it, New Mexico? They have um, I'm not sure too much, but I know all those states in the West. They have a lot of like secret land, you know, land that you cannot go to unless you are permitted to be there. I think New Mexico is also very like mysterious. They have a lot of like mysterious areas. Dan, do you travel a lot, or you just, or you just go from Delhi to Delhi in the Jer in the Jersey Shore? That's crazy. I so I mean they I mean what happens in these states? They got so much land, and they're not very populated. I mean Nevada right now they're growing, but they're only like two million people. And the the size of the state is like. Probably New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania together. They're huge. Hi, how you doing, Liz? Lisa? I'm glad you like the videos. Which of all the videos? Well, from what I'm seeing in your name, I think you like the casino slot machine, right? Which, by the way, I have a lot more to post. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't have time. I got a lot of driving videos to post especially from California and Nevada, some slot machines, because you know, when you go to Las Vegas, <laughs> slot machines are have to be, it's a must. Sadly, I didn't make, I didn't win a lot. You know, I wanted, I wanted to be rich, <laughs> not happening. Oh, nice. I'm glad you do. I'm glad. And I wasn't in, let me tell you, Indiana is beautiful, especially Indianapolis. I loved it. I was there at nighttime. I wish I was there in the daytime, but I went through the night. I have a video in Indianapolis. I was also in Gary, Indiana. I remember Gary, Indiana. I went to um, Michael Jackson's where he grew up. I have a video of that too. <laughs> well, I have quite a, a lot of videos. <laughs> But uh, I was in Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Connecticut, obviously. Connecticut is in the area, New York, New Jersey. Where are you from exactly in Indiana, Lisa?
Four Wayne. I think I heard of it. If I'm not mistaken, it's quite a big city, right? Dude, is, is it Fort Wayne? I remember there was one city in Indiana that I wanted to go. But I think, like I said, you know, I can't just go every little place I want to. I wish I did, but my time doesn't permit. You know, I have to get back in a certain, you know, I have a life, obviously. I have to work and, you know. But, um, yeah. Now, I have to check your page, but you do slot machines? You like casinos, uh, Lisa? Okay. So it was not too far. I remember when I was in Indiana, I dated Gary because I was driving from Ohio to Michigan, Michigan, Indiana, Indiana, Chicago, well, Illinois. Right. All that area around there, they make a lot of GM and Ford. Besides Michigan, obviously, Michigan is the mother of the mother state of the automobile industry. In Ohio, I remember when I was in Youngstown, outside of Youngstown, that's where they make the Ford Focus. I, I, was, I drove right by the factory, which I'm not sure how long will, the, will they be there because they stop, they're going to stop making those Ford Focus. From what I heard from Ford, they're going to stop all of them. Oh, me neither. Don't feel bad, Lisa. People like to complain on my page. Why don't you bid high? Why don't you bid three, four dollars? Yeah. Excuse my French. I don't poo poo, not say a bad word, money. So I'm not going to bid three dollars a bit. I'm not. I go there for fun. I film them because I enjoy it. Not because I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to bid four dollars a bet. That's ridiculous. For me to get to one dollar bet, I'm 150, it was like enough. You know what I mean? And let me tell you, in one of my videos, I won the jackpot, the grand the grand jackpot, and I was bidding $1, and I won $6,400. So, you know, you could win with a, with a dollar. Don't let people tell you unless you don't bid $5 or $4, you're not going to go nowhere because you perfectly win. Now you're Uncle Trevor, you're originally from Pennsylvania or you moved to Pennsylvania? Cool. That's cool. You know in Pennsylvania they have a nice car museum. Since I know you like cars. They have one in Harrisburg. What's it? I forgot the name of it. By Hershey Park. Really cool. Which I have a lot of videos from that museum. They have the the big buses. They have buses that are from Greyhound, like from the 60s and 50s. Hey, that's a great museum. For people that like to see cars. Sorry, sorry for the noise. It's just that I was taking some dust that was by the camera. Yeah. Do you own any classic car, by the way? Oh, I'm glad. Take care of yourself, Lisa. Thanks for stopping by and showing some love. I'm glad you like my videos. And don't work too hard. Take it easy. Walmart won't pay you extra. Take it easy. <laughs> so you're a Pennsylvania native. Your background's from Pennsylvania. Everybody is from Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's cool, man. Will you ever plan to move out of Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania until the day you die? Pennsylvania is nice, man. Let me tell you. It's nice. It's cheap. It's nice. When you move to another state, especially New York or big cities like Las, 
Los, let me tell you, Los Angeles is super expensive. Gasoline, they go. You know, we pay here in Pennsylvania and New York. We pay about three, three twenty. They pay in there four dollars and more. Especially San Francisco, they are ridiculous. They think people shit money there. I mean, I know they got good jobs in San Francisco. You know, they got Google's there, Apple's there. From my understanding, maybe no, maybe maybe Apple's in Seattle. I think. Don't 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 take my words for granted. But they are super. It's super expensive in California. I heard San Jose, which is a gorgeous city, beautiful. Everything is very modern and nice. It's supposed to be the most expensive city to buy a house today. More than New York, more than Los Angeles, more than Chicago, which you think are biggest cities, so you think they'll be more expensive. They go for over a million dollars, the average house in San Jose, California, which is right off San Francisco. It's like about maybe an hour away, or an hour and a half. Let me tell you, Uncle Trevor. By the way, what's your name? Because I feel retarded saying Uncle Trevor all the time. And you're only 23. <laughs> what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? But by the way, what I was trying to say before is that when I was up there, I was I wanted to go see all those cities around. I wanted to go see San Jose. I wanted to go see San Francisco, obviously, Oakland. I didn't have a chance to go to Sacramento because I was super tired already. And I knew I had to drive another eight hours to go to Las Vegas. I should have stayed at night in California. But, you know, I wanted to be in Las Vegas already. So I drove to Las Vegas that night. When I reached Las Vegas at 4 o'clock in the morning, I was like a zombie. I couldn't even walk straight. San Francisco is beautiful too. It's super crowded. It reminded me of New York a lot. I found San Francisco more crowded, like people, like like the downtown was super crowded, like more like New York than Los Angeles. Los Angeles was crowded, but I found San Francisco more like congested, very congested. A lot of traffic and people everywhere. Very New York style. Where is watching? Let me know where you're from. What's your name so I could relate? Say hi to you guys. Besides Mr. Uncle Troy, which I, I say hi to and I appreciate he's watching. And Las Vegas, now I remember, Las Vegas is so much fun. My God, if I had them, if I was ready to move out of the state, I would probably move to Las Vegas. God damn it. People have so much fun. Every day of the week is like a Saturday night. Oh, yes, I've been to Detroit. I have videos of Detroit. I have videos of uh, Detroit at nighttime because I got to Detroit at nighttime, I remember. I have downtown Detroit. I remember I saw the GM building, which actually stopped when I was filming the city. I stopped Detroit. I stopped where I got to the building and I filmed the video too. The vid, um, I'm sorry, the building. Gorgeous, gorgeous city. I know, I know they had some financial issues, but it's a beautiful city. Let me tell you. 
very, very um, energetic. People are very fun, you know. Pretty, pretty good looking city. If they had troubles, they're sure picking up. And I'm glad to see that, you know, especially such a big city like Detroit with such a history, you know. Who doesn't know Detroit as the mother capital of the automobile industry? And you don't want to hear that, especially the business. You know, you want always the business to be booming. And the automobile business is a very important factor for that. But yes, if you go to Detroit, if you search in my page and you put Detroit, and I guess my name, my, you know, my YouTube name, You'll find my videos of Michigan. Also, Michigan itself, I have, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I think it's called Kalamazoo. And also, I have videos of Grand Rapids. Right. I remember when I was in Detroit, before I got to Detroit, I went to Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, Ohio, Detroit. Then, I, then I, I stayed actually in Michigan that night. And then I drove to Chicago and Milwaukee. Very nice city, Milwaukee. I like Milwaukee a lot too. That's true. Well, I was in Detroit. I'm not sure it was last year or the year before. I know it was 2016 or 17. I think it's 2017, actually. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know New York were known. Well, I know the 70s were not a good... The 70s and I think the early 80s were not very good for New York. It was super dangerous. And back in those days, you could buy a house in New York for dirt cheap. I mean, I, w I wasn't born in 1975, but I heard it was super cheap. You could buy a house for like $60,000 or less. Nowadays, <laughs> you don't buy not even a, sub a Subway uh, sandwich for them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm trying to say. $60,000 in New York City, you can't buy no property. Not even a studio. The studios go for like about two hundred. Thousand two hundred and fifty thousand. So yeah, yeah, and that's the reason people moving out of the city. They were saying the other day I heard a a um a news news that it's it's pretty safe. Yeah, safe safe wise, I think. What was the governor, um, the mayor that cleaned up New York City, Giuliani? He cleaned that city like no other, I have to say. But, um, oh my God, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but New York City has changed a lot. It has gotten better. It, you know, I remember 8th Avenue was prostitutes everywhere. I mean, Times Square was a lot of like the Triple X stores. He took all the all those stores away from Times Square, the area, by 42nd Street. He just left them on 8th Avenue, but he, you don't see that, like in the main hub of the tourism. And that helped a lot. People, I guess people that go with kids, you don't want to see, you know, three prostitutes approaching your husband if you're a woman or, or you know, you know what I'm trying to say. You don't want to see, the, you know, people get annoyed. So people... I guess complain all those things. And safe wise, yes. I saw pictures of the Bronx in the early 80s. Yeah. You I mean I drive to New York almost every week because my family's still there. And it's like a non-stop. They not, I don't even know where they're going to make it no more because they don't have say, they don't even have space no more. Now, I'm not sure how much you know about New York City, but if you remember Queens and Brooklyn back in the in the in the 90s by the you know, by the shore close to the, you know, the river, 
There used to be factories around there. Now, they knock those factories out. They put sky, skyscrapers by Queens and Brooklyn. They're so smart because they knew they could take advantage of the, you know, the city view and charge God knows how much for those apartments instead of having a factory that they could have, they could have not get so much money for it. Hey, I mean, even the Bronx is expensive now. And usually the Bronx is the cheapest place in the city to rent or live or buy a house. I mean, there's no place in the city that you could buy and, and live cheaply. And then the taxes, my God. They tax you even if you breathe too hard, they'll tax you. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, my friend. Now, Allentown has gotten a lot better. I, they picked up big time. How is it to live in Allentown? Is it safe? I heard it used to be very dangerous before, a long time ago. That's what I heard. This hair is flying around and getting on my nerves, man. This woman is losing all of her hair. I go there quite often. I mean, not quite often, but when I go to the casino, the science casino in Bethlehem, I go there. I like that area. I, should, I, I used to go to, ironically, when I used to live in New York City, I used to go a lot more to the Allentown area, like Bethlehem, because I used to go to the casino a lot more, that casino actually. But you know, it's funny now. I move closer to Allentown. I don't move. I don't go that often no more. I like this. I like this area a lot. North, uh, northeast Pennsylvania is beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, Scranton, Wilkesbury, beautiful cities. Isn't it the, the steel plant where the Sands made the casino, if I'm not mistaken? Exactly there. The big, which they still have a big piece of it there. Wow. I mean, the steel industry and the coal industry more here in the north. They used to be the the big um, job warriors of Pennsylvania, from what I heard. But you know, like they have seen better days now. Fortunately, they now you know, but they're picking up little by little. This these cities have noticed that. If you cannot depend on one item, you have to look for something else. I mean, one item, I mean, one source of jobs. You have to move on, obviously, you know. You have to lift from the ground up. I think you could do a little bit more, but you know, everybody has different opinions. 
I think he could do a little more. No, I want to see more. Sometimes I want to see more talking from him and more actions. Less talking, I'm sorry. Less talking and more actions. But, you know, like I said, when it comes to politics or religion, it's a subject that you can never get people to agree with it, you know? But he could do a little more, I think. You know, he was actually here in... Oh, okay. See, I'm not, I don't know much about that, but I, you know, if you say, because you've been living here longer than me, so you know more about it. But example, cities like Wilkes-Barre, I'm talking about Wilkes-Barre because I live here, but I, I, he was here probably about two months ago. Then when Lou Beretta was around here and he came to, you know, help him out with the campaign. But he could, he could also come in to come to make more jobs and, you know, not only to this city, I'm talking about Pennsylvania altogether. And, you know, you could travel more. I mean, but hey, like I said at the beginning, we all have different ideas. I think he could help out. But if he did help out in the alum, aluminum, you know, hey, he's doing something which he has to be doing. That's why people voted for him. So, you know, we want, we just want to see actions, and I hope he's doing them. But, you know, like I said, even for the people that are not with the president, we have to support him for now because he's he's a president. So no, it's not like he's not going to be a president because we don't like him. I want to, you know, I just want to see more America to pick up even more. Not just the big cities. Not New York City, not Chicago, not Houston, Los Angeles. I want to see the small cities that, especially this area, like the Rust Belt, smaller cities like, you know, Scranton, Buffalo, Cleveland. No, these cities, they need to pick up because they just, they need help. Yeah, they need help. Not so much the big cities, because, you know, we all know New York City is not going to change for one president. It, they're not, it's not going to be the capital of the world for, for anybody. And Chicago is also a huge place, Los Angeles. But we want to see more work in the smaller cities, you know, cities that were a long time ago an in industry hub, and now they're not. So if they were a long time ago industry hub, it they could pick up again to be, but we you know they need to be more opportunities. You know, especially the coal industry. I heard that he was planning to bring it back to Pennsylvania and stop purchasing, I think, from China. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yes, I do. It's right here. Bam. <laughs> yep. That's my traveling baby. I mean, when I'm around this area, I don't drive to California with it. I don't go far like that. I've been to, with this car, I drove to Buffalo once when I used to live in New York. Buffalo. I drove to Rock, Rock, Rochester, Syracuse. Yeah, i also been to Ohio with it. But I try, he's been everywhere, but I don't want to abuse it like that no more. So when I go far, I just fly there and, and you know, drive around. But yeah, he's, let me tell you, he's reliable. I had before, okay, before this Kia, I had another Kia. It was a Kia Monte. My God, what a good car. I had a Kia Monte. I had quite a few cars. 
I had a Kia Monte. I had before the Kia Monte. I had a Chrysler LHS, a 2000. My God, that car was so comfortable, super comfortable. I had also a Subaru Impreza. I had a Hyundai a Hyundai Sonata. What else? I had a Daewoo. I'm not sure you remember those Daewoo's. Daewoo Leganza. Hey. They criticized those cars like no other. But the time that I had it, that car looked good to me. Never gave me no issues. What else I had? Let's see. I had a Ford. Not a Ford. A Mercury Tracer. Two Mercury Tracers. And a Sable. Mercury Sable, too. Like, but before I used to own a car for like one year and then sell it. I used to get tired of them. When I was in my 20s. One year, two years, and sell them. One year, two years, and sell them. What car you drive? That's a nice, comfortable car. That that reminds me a lot of the Chrysler LHS. It's about the same size. It was a 2000 Chrysler LHS. Super comfortable car. The only thing I felt like it was starting to give me problems before I sold it, actually, when I started seeing those problems happening, was the suspension. I felt it was a super comfortable, but at the end, whenever you hit a pothole, you will he hear like... Like, you know, like, like, like the suspension one and I messed up. So I said, mm-mm. Then time to sell these babies. Time to sell this baby before it drops on me. And I won't get a dollar for it. Oh, well, I also have a, I, I have the. The Kia Soul, the one that I showed you, the one that you know because you, you probably see him in the, video, in the video. And I have also a Hyundai Accent. Did you can see that? The back of it. I have the Hyundai Accent. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know the Mercury sales were built in Atlanta. I didn't even know they built cars close to Atlanta. I know, because usually the factories, hey, don't take my ignorance, but from what I knew, most of the southern states, they have more of, I know Alabama has the Mercedes-Benz factory. I don't know. I know Hyundai makes cars here. Hyundai makes cars in, can remember. BMW makes actually in South South Carolina, I think. Hmm? I know. I know GM had a factory for the Saturn. If you remember the Saturn brand, they used to make them in Tennessee. In Tennessee, I remember Saturns. My sister had a Saturn. And I remember they were super proud of that because they used to have a sticker by the window. They were built in, I don't know what city or, or town in Tennessee. Can, Corvettes are made in Kentucky, I know that. Yeah, Spring Hill. Yeah, you, you're right, because I remember now, now that you mentioned it, I remember the sticker. They had a sticker by the back window, the back, I think it was the driver's side. Let me tell you, those Saturns were good. My sister abused the crap out of them. <laughs> she had two of them. She had um, the SL2, and then she had the Ion. Very good cars. Very, very good cars. But they're fiberglass. They were fiberglass. 
Tesla Model 3. Hold on, Model 3 is not the new one that just came out with, if I'm not mistaken. It's, I think it's the one that they, they just said that was the most safest car in the world. I don't know. I don't know if that's the one. The Toyota RAV4, I rented one. I rented a Toyota RAV4. Well, I didn't know they were selling so well. I didn't even know they were already on sale, tell you true. Because I don't, there's no factory. I don't think they sell actually Teslas in Pennsylvania. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they do. I remember one time I went to a dealership in New York by Long Island. Sayasi, Long Island, exactly. They were they had this they had the dealership there. And then they used to sell them in the malls. I remember they had like a like a sales um, store with Teslas in one of the malls in Long Island. So they're super expensive, man. They were going for over a hundred thousand. Hmm. Okay, you're not gonna spend the money in the gasoline, but you sure expend the money in buying it. <laughs> so, I think the Model Three, the one that your friend has, is cheaper. I'm not sure how cheap, but they're cheaper. And they also came up with an SUV, which I find a very good look in the SUV. Tell you the truth, it's like SUV or. The shape of it kind of reminds me of the Pontiac. I forgot the, it was Aztec, I think it was called. Aztec. Those cars are beautiful. I saw one in a car show. I actually have videos of it, of the 78 Mercury Marquis. Beautiful. You know what I like about that car? I'm, I'm not sure how you see it. There's a few of them that I see that the back wheel is half covered. I find that so glamorous in, in, in the cars. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm not sure. Hey. The Impala, 1960, the Impala was one of the iconic um I mean, it's one of the few cars that people outside America, they're familiar with, that they know about the Impalas. You go to other countries in the world, and they they may not know what, an, what a Buick uh, Le Sabre is. They may not know what a Pontiac um, Bonneville, I think it's called Bonneville. Made it, but they sure know what a Chevrolet Impala is. Hey, those Mercury's. I actually miss Mercury. My very, very first car was a Mercury. Mercury opened my doors and my driving experiences. I will never forget the very first day I bought a Mercury Tracer. I had a 1992 Mercury Tracer station wagon. I I was I bought it in Connecticut for five hundred dollars. As I was driving it from Connecticut to New York, everything went fine. Back in the days, I was crazy. I used to drive cars without insurance, without registering them. You know, when you're young and stupid and you think you know it all. Hey, you're only 23, so. But when I was 21, 20, I used to do those things. Don't do that. But what I was trying to say, I, the very, very first day, as I got to New York and I was in the park, it, I thought I knew it all. There was an ambulance, double parked. I couldn't get through. So I don't, I forgot what was the problem, but I started reversing it. I remember I scraped the whole side of the car with the, with the, 
bumper of the ambulance because those bumpers are pure metal. They don't play around with those when they make those ambulance. And I scraped the whole, and then I took off because I said, nothing happened to the ambulance. It sure happened to my car. But if I call the cops, obviously I'm, it's my fault. So I was not, especially it was not registered. A GTA 4? They had a Mercury Tracer? I didn't know that one. I have to go check it out. GTA was well, Gran Turismo. Gran Theft Auto. Gran Theft Auto. 4. I didn't know that. I don't know. I might have to check it out. Probably bring me memories. And I could short sm smash it. I could short smash it around and. I not feel guilty about it. Hello, Juan, how are you doing? Hola. Hey, Juan, you gotta check my, I got every Provincia, no wait, how you guys say it's a municipio in Puerto Rico, except for Vieques and what was the other one? Uh, Culebra. I drove through the whole island, every, every municipio I have, from the smallest to the biggest. So I hope you enjoy them because I sure love them. I love Puerto Rico. I'm going to have to check your page, Uncle Trevor. I'm going to have to go check it out. I'm, you know, because now you left me thinking. Condado is beautiful, man. But Condado is, is a tourist area. I'm, I'm, you know, Juan, Condado is very expensive, too. But I love going to Condado and then going to the outskirts and then going outside the city, you know, to the others, other other. Municipalities are oh, very, but you live there or you are live in America now? You still play Grand Theft, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Uncle Trevor? You still play the game? Is it you? You play Grand Theft Auto, right? If I'm not mistaken, from what you said before. No, unfortunately, I haven't done it, Juan. I have to. You know what it is? I like San Juan. I spend time in San Juan, Condado, and all, but I don't. We go more to like the west coast of Puerto Rico. We go a lot more to like Maya West, Maricao. What's the other ones? Lajas, Guayanilla, Ponce. Uncle Trevor, I'm gonna have to check it. I play games too. I don't, you know, I wanna start making a video, uh, making a page of my videos that I play games. I see it's very popular on YouTube. I love playing games. I haven't played a lot lately, but I have to start playing more. Yes, I've been to it all. I've been to, I know Puerto Rico has 78 municipalities. I've been to 76, all of them. And I have videos of them. You can search Dorado and put my name and you see my video of Dorado. I have Dorado, Tua Alta, Bayamón, Florida. I mean, I'm trying to remember the areas around there. Ciales, Otuado. Actually, Otuado is one of my most popular videos of Puerto Rico. Otuado, um, Orocovis. Was Barceloneta, Arecibo.
By the way, Uncle Trevor, that's one place I recommend you to go, Puerto Rico, man. Beautiful island. Beautiful island. You know, those those areas, Juan, are the most popular areas for tourism. But you know, like I'm a guy that I mean if you watch my videos, I go to the tourist areas and then I go outside the tourist areas. Some people complain in my videos and tell me, Oh, why don't you film this area? Why don't you film the ugly side? When I drive to the cities, I film everything. The good and the bad, because people want to see the reality. You know, what I mean? oh, I love going to tourist areas too. I mean, who doesn't? It's the most good-looking area, you know, because the the area that takes more pride into and people take care of it more. Yeah, Uncle, recommend it, Uncle Trevor. Recommend it. People are super friendly there. They they they're very you know friendly and. And you can enjoy it. It's a lot, a lot to see. No, I have to, man. I always wanted to go to Europe. Europe has always been in my bucket list. But, you know, the problem with Europe is not just the ticket. Europe is super expensive. Super expensive. The hotels. I heard the gasoline is in Europe is... They, go by, they don't go by gallons. They go by liters. I heard it's super expensive. I heard like the gallon, like comparisons, like about six, seven dollars a gallon. Juan, I don't, I used to live in New York until recently. I moved to Pennsylvania, but I always go to New York. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's the reason I move out of New York. It's super expensive. New York City is super expensive. Well, you're right, Uncle Trevor. But that's the, hey, I don't want to judge the countries, but that's probably the most safest place you could go to. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm mis misjudging them. There's some countries in Europe I heard they're beautiful. Romania, I mean, Eastern Europe. Romania and um, Bulgaria, I heard it's gorgeous too. Juan, I'm not sure about Monroe. I don't recognize Monroe, New Jersey. Is that close to like a bigger city? Like, I don't know, Jersey City, Newark, Atlantic City. Well, remember, New, Jer New Jersey is by the coast. And if it's one hour away from New, Jer New York City, it's probably... You know, New Brunswick around probably around the area. It's a it's a nice area. The problem with that area is starting to get very expensive too. Remember, whatever is close to New York City is gonna get expensive because you're very close to the city. The you know everyone wants to live there, and people are starting to notice that when you when you paying three thousand dollars for rent in the city, and then when you can move an hour away and pay for, for $3,000, you could pay the mortgage of your house, the monthly mortgage, people are starting to, let's say, let's move out of the city for, for that. Have you been to Europe, Uncle Trevor? You know, when I went to Savannah, Georgia, I drove through Savannah, Georgia. But unfortunately, I never got to stop in Savannah, Georgia, which I regret it because I heard it is gorgeous. I heard, you're right, Victoria Homes. But when you come to the north, like Pennsylvania, you get to see those type of homes too. What countries, if you don't mind me asking Uncle Trevor?
Sweden, I heard Sweden and Finland are two two countries that I always wanted to go to. I heard they're beautiful, especially Sweden. I heard is is a must if you go to Europe. I l love cars. I mean, in my videos, I, if you if you subscribe to my videos, I put only I put videos of cars of the cities that I drive through, slot machine, the casino, and then something that brings my attention. I always do it. But cars, I always do it. Classic and also. Um, New cars. No, I haven't. I haven't. I have to go check. That's by the casino, the Mohegan Sun. Right, Juan? Now, Uncle Trevor, Britain, I heard, is beautiful. France, too. Even though I heard him, they don't like Americans in France. That's what I heard. I don't know. Don't get me wrong, France, that's why it's the number one place for tourism in the world. It must be beautiful. Germany, I have to go, and Italy too. Spain, Spain is beautiful. I heard that the, the, the constructions are very uh, elegant. The Czech Republic, I don't, I don't know much about it, and Slovakia, I know, I know it's like, it must be like Czech Republic because they both um, used to be one country a long time ago. How are you doing? Pretty good, and you? Good. Nice. Did you get your things we put on the porch? Oh, yes, I did. I appreciate okay. it. Thank oh, you so right. much. It was probably flying all over the place, yeah, right? the wind that day was bad. It was bad. I appreciate it. Oh, no I'll say hi to my neighbor. She was, uh, she was very nice. One of my Halloween decorations was flying around the other day, and she brought it to my... To my, my balcony. Oh, thank you, Juan. I'm glad you like them. And there's a lot more coming up. There's a lot more of car videos are coming up. I just came from Nevada, Juan. I was in California and Nevada two, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago? No, I'm sorry, a month ago. But I don't, I didn't, I didn't go to the Death Valley National Park, unfortunately. I've been to the Hoover Dam. I've been to um, Las Vegas, obviously. I have to go check it out. Now, see, now, you know what it is, like I said before in the video, unfortunately, I didn't have uh Lots of time, you know. I, have, I wanted to film so many places and so many cities, and I wanted to go somewhere. I, places I couldn't go to, I couldn't go to, I couldn't go to Sacramento, I couldn't go to Bakersfield. I passed through Bakersfield, but I couldn't film Bakersfield. I wanted to go to Reno, Nevada. I couldn't go to, but I wanted to. You no know, time. It, What's my job? I'm a stripper. <laughs> you must say that because you, I'm always filming. I work in a company. I work in a, it's called Navient. It's a company where they deal with college loans and all that. You know, an RV sounds great. And I will save a lot of money with the hotels and stuff. Okay, an RV sounds like a good idea. I probably get more like an RV than a fifth wheel RV because I don't know, you know, sometimes I like to drive through like a small RV, like, you know, they, they make like those Dodge or Mercedes vans, vans into an RV. That sounds good. Oh, 
Am I, what, what do you do for a living on Coach Trevor, if you don't mind me asking? But, Juan, you say you live in, in Puerto Rico, right? Oh, I wouldn't be able to live in that. No, 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 no. I will be able to travel and then come back home, but not live in a van. No, and I can't, I can't stay in a, in a van 24. I mean, all day long for my life. One week, yeah, because I'm traveling and I know I'm traveling. It's not my home. It's my, my place to stay as I'm traveling, but not to live in it. Nice. Stay in school. <laughs> That's the only future, man. When you're older, you'll regret it. If you don't stay, obviously. Have you seen all my videos from Puerto Rico, Juan? My God, my battery's running out. Cause I'm outside. I'm not. My computer's not connected. <laughs> hey, an RV, if you like traveling, an RV is a great place. I mean, great investment. No, I hate manual transmission. I drove it a couple of times. I don't enjoy it. I just don't find the joy of it. People say, oh, my God, you're going to love it. You know, it's nothing like feeling the engine revving according to the way you're driving. Whatever. Not to me. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't, I don't I don't get the kick of it. Stop changing gears, changing back and forth. And especially in traffic. I drove a, a pickup once, a manual transmission pickup. I was in a traffic light in a hill. That damn thing started rolling backwards. I said, hell no. Never again. I was I was petrified. I thought I was gonna hit, hit the car behind me. I had to put I had to stop the vehicle put the hazard lights on, let everybody pass behind me, and then try to restart it, and then try to start it again. I was, I almost shit in my pants. <laughs> I didn't see the 2020 Toyota Supra. I didn't know the Toyota was planning to bring the Supra again. The Supra again. Electric cars are good, you know. I think, like, for me, it wouldn't work because I like to drive a lot, and I know you can only drive for so long and then stop and charge it. And I, and I don't think beyond in the – when you're in a smaller city, I don't think there's enough places that you could charge these vehicles. So I don't think it's still, for me, the right time to buy an electric car because you're very secluded to the big cities and wherever they have it to charge it. Otherwise, you have to plug it in, I don't know, in an outlet and wait like 10 hours, which is ridiculous. Now, Uncle Trevor, I know how to drive it too. I can, if I have to do it, I have to. It's just that I'm very uncomfortable with it and my nerves take get the best of it. So when I start getting stressed out, then I mess it up. Hey, I'm going to have to do it, Juan. I'm going to have to check it out. Are you...
going to do. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Hey, I didn't even know Toyota was bringing up the Super again. You know, I thought they, they, they were not very interested in bringing back the sports cars because they were not selling very well. That's the reason they stopped making the Celica and the Supra. And not only Toyota, I think most of these Japanese cars started stopped making them, you know. Mitsubishi came back with the, again with the Eclipse, but it's a total different style. It's not even a sports car no more. A manual transmission Wrangler. Wow. What do you think about the Suzuki's? Do you think they should come back to America, Juan? Suzuki. What was the other brand that we used to have back in the 90s? Daihatsu. They should come back. What do you think about the European car brands that they don't make them and they don't sell them in America? Like Citroën, Peugeot. Renault, those are hot cars. I mean, I like small cars too. I like to see them. Maybe not all of them, but see them. Hey, in Puerto Rico, they love those Suzuki's. They have them everywhere. But I like them too. They're very, very practical cars. And probably they're very cheap to own, probably. In Puerto Rico? Nice. I saw a lot of Kias in Puerto Rico. They have a lot of Kias too. Kias and you're right, Mitsubishi is pretty popular there. Um Yeah. They're not so crazy about the American cars so much. I noticed that. They're Puerto Rico's really into Japanese vehicles. The Zero, Mitsubishi Zero. Hmm. Don't don't think I remember that model. Is it? Is it the little one that they made for a while? I mean, I'm not sure if it's still. No, that's the I I I think it's called. I don't think I remember seeing the Mitsubishi Zero. I'm gonna have to Google it. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna see them a lot everywhere. Besides. You see them all around. You see not only in Texas, you see them a lot in the South. Also, you see them when you're out of the cities. The cities, you don't see them that much, but that's the, it's the number one vehicle sold in America. <laughs> I know I'm going to travel. That's what I said. I have to Google it. So I have to get back in. I have to... Um, Yeah, well, here the number one vehicle sold in America is the F-150. You see F-250s too, but it's not the number one vehicle sold, you know. Guys, I'm going to have to leave soon because my battery's up to 7%. And I don't want this to shut down without me saying bye to everyone. Thanks again for enjoying my videos. Keep watching them. You're going to have fun. I mean, hopefully. I know, Uncle Trevor, you've been a, a follower of my, my YouTube page for quite a while, which I, you're always welcome. I'm glad that you are. I'll have to check your page out and see your videos. Yeah, If you have any videos, by the way.
yeah, Tacomas are very popular because it's a Japanese brand. In Puerto Rico, they trust the Japanese brands a lot, even more than here. Even more in America too. Toyotas are very, very likable here in, in the United States. But again, everyone, Uncle Trevor, take care, man. Nice talking to you. Again, Juan, check out my videos from Puerto Rico, man. You're gonna like them. I have every municipio, like you say, like we say in Spanish. In, in <laughs> I like games too. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna start. I have another YouTube page that I'm starting to build up little by little, and it's it's um it's I it, I put I put some games about when I play on my cell phone. Uh, Juan, I have a Kia Soul and a Hyundai Accent. I don't want to, I don't want to just, it's not it's up to 6%. Again, guys, keep following me, man. I'm going to go check your pages too. Take care again. A Dodge. Depends on what model. What? I don't know if Dodge have very good cars nowadays, do they? I know the Charger is pretty nice. Yeah, guys, it's, you hear the beeping. It's, it's making noises. I was about to shut off. I don't want to be rude and just shut off without saying bye to everyone. Take care, guys. Take care, Juan.